Tibi Troia continuă să ne dezvăluie din secretele celor doi campioni mondial de freestyle. Astăzi aflăm despre partea urâtă, accidentările. How is your hand? hand? Your right hand. Ah. <laughs> Why you yeah. don't you know the story? Sorry. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yeah, my right hand it's it's all right now. Good? You know, I I still have some trouble, as yeah, you can yeah. see. I, know, I right cannot now. move. I know. But I think it is what it is. It's a part of the sport, and yeah. But you you will try to to recover a little bit, or maybe another surgery. The thing is, what what did the doctor say? Doctor say like this. If I can ride like this without trouble, it's better to ride like this. I can go for another surgery, but it's 50-50. It can be better or same. Yeah. So yeah. for the moment, I ride, I ride, and maybe later uh, surgery. You get my respect because I saw many times the, the thing your, you. your crash. Actually, if I remember well, it was in 2013. Yeah, exactly. When you finished Good. world champion. Exactly. And yeah. It was in the last race. You could finish. Not even in the first trip, but yeah. you insisted and you wanted to to win yeah, also sure. the last race. Exactly. And yeah, the thing now. Uh, yeah, you had a very good score in the last race. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I finished second. I just, yeah, I just missed a bit uh, the handlebar during my last jump of the year. Yeah. Catch the wall and it's a dislike. So it was the last uh, race. Yeah. The, the last jump. Exactly. And you could not stop. No, no, no. You know when you ride, yeah. for my opinion, when I ride fist and motocross is to doing my best all the time, even if it's a show, even if it's a contest. This is a I professional not, way of thinking. I don't know, I can, no. This, this day in Sofia in 2013, for me, it, if I finish a fourth, I think it was, yeah, it was enough. It was enough, but yes. okay, when you want no. to be the world champion, you have to be the world champion yes. until the end. You proved <laughs> everybody that you are a professional. So it's all right, yeah. <laughs> thanks. In 2010, when you uh, finished the, comp the year yeah. as a world champion, uh, in the last race, in, if I remember well, in Brazil, yeah, yeah, yeah. you fought with all the Brazileros, and yeah. there were some good French guys. Uh, yeah, David yeah. was there, but yeah, he was much younger. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. W which is the explanation that there were not at all US riders? Uh, because I don't know, like uh, may, maybe there was one Brody Wilson, but and he actually he's supposed to come, but he missed his visa, I think, for that. But uh, I don't know, it's uh, it's kind of shame because in you the sport, like our sport started in, started in America, you know, in 1999 around the 2000s, and it was like everyone, every everything was coming from uh, from the U.S. And then, but they, I think, like in those like 10 years, they somehow become too lazy. So in around year 2005, the Americans still were the best, but the Europe and Australia keep on. And then in 2007, they were the, like going down, and now in 2010 was was like on the edge where like, Americans were kind of losing the, their point. I think. So it was a change of yeah. generation. Yeah, and, and for example, like in the big, in like 2005 on X Games, American X Games, there were like uh, 10 riders out of 12 was Americans. And right now, like um, going to X Games uh, in two weeks, and they are in the freestyle are uh, like two Americans out of 12 riders. You know, it's uh, like actually Europe and Australia, they, we are kind of kicking the ass but of America. Inside. But you made history. You were the the only, the first non-American who won the gold medal in MotoX. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, in step up. Yeah, it was in step up. In step up, they are still very good.